Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today. Today we're actually gonna be refreshing my fireplace mantle for fall. And as you can see by this, I have already decorated it, but I just wanted to do something a little bit different for those last few weeks of fall. And I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along and show you how I do it. So let's get started. So I just started off by removing everything from the mantle except for this mirror. I do keep this mirror up year round um, because we don't have a TV above this. So I just really like the look this mirror gives off and it just works for every season. So I'm just putting some eucalyptus leaves in here. They are different from the ones I had here previously. And then I'm going to go in with this beautiful, um, I guess I should say these are stems from Michaels. And I got these last year, but I do believe they also had them this year. So I just wanted to add a little bit more fullness and a little bit more color to this um, space above the mirror. I don't know about you guys, but once I place something, I find that I sit there for a while and try to fluff it and finagle it till it gets to that perfect liking, um, but it can take a while. So I'm just trying to make this really nice and fluff it out a little bit. So this is how it looks now that I've added the eucalyptus and those orange stems. They have little pumpkins on them and I thought they were just so precious. And now I'm just going to go in and decorate around the mirror. So I have this little tray. Um, I just wanted to add some height and I'm going to place a lantern on top of that little stand. And both of those items are from Michaels. And these lanterns I got a few weeks ago. I believe they were 60% off in the fall collection. And I thought they were really beautiful and something you could use any season really. And I believe with the 60% off, they were around $20 each. So this garland was actually a purchase from Michaels also this year. And I also got this for 60% off. So I believe it was around $14 or $15. And I just love those beautiful colors. It just matches with the aesthetic of my whole house for this season. So I was really excited to find that and they only had one left, so I snagged that. And then to these lanterns, I wanted to add some greenery just to tie into the greenery that I had placed above the fireplace. So I did have um, the greenery already that was from HomeSense and I use that year round in my decor. So I just got that from my decor stash and placed it in there along with the flameless flickering candle. So I'm just gonna repeat this now on the other side, just adding that greenery again and another candle. I do like symmetry when I am decorating. Um, I tend to always kind of balance both ends out. I don't know if you guys are like that when you decorate at your home, but I always find myself trying to do that. So that's why I got both of these um, lanterns and I kind of just decorated them both exactly the same. I had these beautiful black candlesticks and then these white candles and I believe I purchased them maybe in the spring or fall of last year but I thought they would be the perfect addition to this um, fireplace mantle so I just got those also from my decor stash downstairs and just added them right beside the bigger lantern. These candlesticks I did actually get from the fall collection from Michaels. And what I'm doing here is I find that sometimes these candles like to not um, sit straight in the holder and that kind of drives me crazy. So I just um, thought I would just add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom and then just hold them in place for a few minutes just to keep them in that upright position so they don't move around a lot. I find that sometimes um, the candles aren't wide enough so they tend to flop around and I just think it looks neater and more put together um, just by securing them in that holder. So I found this trick does work very well but it might be easier instead of adding the hot glue to the candle to actually add it just to the inside of the candle holder. Because um, I was adding it to wax, it did make it hard to keep that little glue dot in place. So I think next time I would just add it into the candle holder opposed to the actual a candle. 
So I just did it to all four of the candles and I noticed after when I was styling the mantle that one just didn't sit right. I think inside the candle holder must be uneven. So even though I did glue it, it just still, it was a little lopsided. So oh well, it is what it is. But I just brought these after they cooled down and settled right over to the fireplace mantle. And I'm just gonna incorporate these um, right into the mantle for some extra light and ambience. Now I'm just gonna add my flameless flickering candles to this space. I just love these, I use them all throughout my house and they do come with the remote control so it's really easy to turn them on and off. And I have a few sets of them, I do wanna purchase more for Christmas just so I can have some upstairs as well. And I find that I don't use as many real candles because of these, they just look so realistic. And I really like them because I never have to worry if I shut a candle off I'm, or, you know, any of that stuff when you're going out. Sometimes I worry, did I get all the candles? So I don't have to think about it as much. But I did want to add some real candles to the space also. I just thought it would be really pretty some evenings if we want to turn the fireplace on just to have a little bit more of a glow from some real candles. So we don't light these that often, um, but just once in a while, it's kind of nice to have some real ones also. And this is what the mantle looks like all decorated. I know it's quite simple, but I just wanted something really simple and clean, but really cozy and warm. So I think I achieved that look by doing this. And because I will be starting my winter decorating for Christmas soon, I just wanted something really nice to finish off the fall season because we do spend so much time in this space. I want to thank you all for watching this video today. I'm so happy and blessed that you're here. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you'd subscribe and hit that like button. And if you're one of my followers, I am so grateful and happy to have you here. And we will be kicking off my Christmas decorating series coming up. So I'd love for you to stay tuned for that. I have lots of new and exciting ideas and it's going to be quite something once I get all the decor out. So stay tuned friends. Take care. God bless. Bye.